bunches welcome back to another video if you're new here welcome welcome my name's Phoebe um it's Thursday evening I am feeling much more myself having had some time in the kitchen for the first time in I don't even want to know how long like a month no a few weeks um with family staying did an experiment and then had some health stuff going on and then got a cold not COVID but like a decent cold that knocks you out proper and leaves you with a sexy croak. Mm, but uh, it sounds worse than it is. Just trying to be patient with myself because we've all learned that lesson. Don't come out of your sickness too quick. And I feel like it'll just take a bit of time to feel myself again. Luckily, I've got really nice computer work to do. Finally, after some tech issues. Honestly, autumn, mercury retrograde. Don't that I even know what I'm talking about when I cite that. But uh, lots of people have. And we'll just add it to the list been like really challenging it was really hard there for a minute anyway what was I saying oh yes I'm able to start putting together the book that's what I was doing lovely lovely in design um made the switch from powerpoint and it's looking sleeker it is just such a process it's just a whole nother like kettle of fish doing a cookbook when you keep raising your own personal stakes just it takes so long and I'm and with the season that has been too many curveballs have been thrown my way for this to be a satisfactory level of difficulty it's honestly been so hard to keep pushing through um and I still really believe in it I'm getting there though and I'm making huge progress day by day so I'm sure it will come together in the next week or two I just gotta keep swimming channel a bit of dory <laughs> This cold made the rounds in all the family members who were staying and then they left and I got it and thought mum wouldn't get it but now she has it. That method of seasoning tofu is just sublime and there's a Thai lemongrass coconut version in the cookbook Big Mouth which I've sort of taken that method and made the tofu souvlaki you saw me make. It's so good and like so gentle, gentle foods on the sensitive systems and so flavorful and pretty much sums up the ethos the vibey of the book i'm very happy with that recipe and making tortillas that you could crumple up and didn't rip and were just a delight to work with fab experience the donuts not so much uh 
you fry donuts at a really low temperature, which I don't think I really tweaked, so I think I was just cooking them at too high a temperature the whole time, even though the oil felt like stupidly low. A lot of the time it's 160, whereas oil, like for deep frying, gets up to 200, and that's quite a difference. Also, it was quite a sweet dough. This is quite boring. I'll wrap it up real quick uh, and sell it brown really quick. But either way, it's very nice to get in the kitchen and finally make some stuff that have been on my list forever, and that is the vibe of this video, and I hope you enjoy it. It's the afternoon now. I'm just taking a break from designing Big Mouth. It's coming along though. Um, I'm going to drop off some stuff, do some errands, and then a friend and I tonight are going on a bit of a date to get a couple of random things like an eyebrow gel. I don't even know what I'm talking about. That's why I'm going with her. This cookbook just came in the mail. Um, Emily Von Yu's second cookbook for all this year, bloody killing it, approached me if I would write like a little, um, what are they called, like you know, word of recommendation on the back. They didn't pick what I wrote, which is totally fair, but it looks really lush and lovely. And the other thing I was going to mention, um, I was writing my Friday newsletter and, and typing up the Savlaki recipe post this morning. I mentioned in the Friday newsletter that when I was sick earlier this week, I finally watched Conversations with Friends. I don't know if our Sally Rooney tolerance is like, well, our cup is fourth. Um, so it's, certain things that were like oh yeah cool that's the charm um sort of stand out a bit more as like her style like the way the characters speak I certainly had a giggle I don't know honestly I love the look and feel of it and I was very easily lost in it and I am aware that it's like quite real so I think the reason it like polarizes people is because either like oh my gosh it's so real I love feels very reflective of my experience or that is a reason for people to hate it but also it's valid whatever opinion but no I, I think I like the book better <laughs> for some reason I just hated everyone except for Bobby who was the one character I found hard -er to like in the book which feels so bizarre of an admission now having watched the series I didn't like by any of the chemistry I think Frances because of her close to homeness like I'm not dumb like if an alien came here, we're in like a same sort of category of Caucasianness and um, age bracket. I think I would have been a bit more like sympathetic to her as a character if it was played by a genuine 21 year old. I think that's playing into my like wanting to shred her to pieces vibe. I was reading up on like the endometriosis representation, which was I was very eager to see on screen. And like for the most part, it's great, but also like let's not kid ourselves. Like this should be like the bare minimum. Um, not shying away from showing women's pain on screen because it does affect people's like life in every way. But I was reading something that was like showing how it feeds into all her choices. And I don't know, just like with how she just doesn't communicate to the people around her and maybe and like elephant in the room. It's about an affair and I just don't agree or like want to get on board. I know it's complicated and I think it's meant to be. So it's like, what is an opinion worth anyway? What did you think? <laughs> One like really petty thing that kept coming to my mind is that the actress Alison who plays Frances this doesn't even make sense but to my experience of heavy awful periods and like um the effects of a heavy challenging cycle I thought her hair is too thick <laughs> to have been going through that like the density but I'm like iron stress hair loss you know Mm, that makes no sense, but that was my petty feel.
Hey, it's Saturday and I am at my grandparents. Um, we have some people coming to look at the house for sale, but we're like so mid pulling everything out, cleaning, going through everything. So I'm just doing that classic thing of putting things into neater piles. And as unsatisfying and wrong as it feels, just swishing surface stuff into cupboards. It's working, um, it looks a bit more decent. Um, the dust level <laughs> is on another level. My mum wrote me a massive list from her uh, phlegm bed <laughs> because she has this cold now. This afternoon I plan to do some cooking and using some pans that my grandmother had. I will show you them later but um, yeah, some, there's some very cute pans that I can do some cute stuff with. soggy wall and I thought before finishing this video I would just show you some of the lovely things I've saved from my grandparents place it doesn't look too bad now but like our house is becoming a bit of a storing space for their stuff while we go through it and clean and cull delegate it's also been kind of weird putting aside things or making the call on which things I or my brother would want to keep for like a future home situation when one does not have this space or resources to imminently make that happen. But anyway, here's a little slideshow of cool things to close out this video. And sorry for the husky whisper, my mom is still asleep. <laughs> 